and so we continue with our history. Fiddle on the Roof is going to take several of these episodes since I'm kind of limited on the time. So, I got into it. One of the reasons that I was able to get into Fiddler on the Roof at age 17, and with a fairly big part, was the fact that I was building and able to do things with my voice. Now that I think back on it, there were very few of us that actually attempted to do anything with our voices. But I'm so thankful that the director allowed those of us who could to do that. The director, David Pyron. Oh, I appreciated that man's talent. He had worked several summers in a semi-professional um, acting group in New York State, and he brought that professionalism to us. Unfortunately, things happen, and ten years later, we became enemies. Such happens in the theater world. Johnny McElwain was our Tebya. I wish that I could be half the performer and half the person that he was in that show. He made everyone feel good. Joe Cleta, she was Combs at that time. Um, she married, remarried later after her husband, that husband died, and she became Joe Cleta Hamilton. She played our Golda. She and Johnny had been playing husband and wife for several uh, performances already with Nightlight. And we were reviewed by a paper, newspaper from a nearby town. She did not get a great review and people were just horrified. But I mean, that's what a reviewer is supposed to do. They're supposed to tell what's good and they're also supposed to tell what you need to work on. So I kind of felt sorry for the reviewer. Dr. Mac Moore, that I mentioned in another video, played Laser Wolf the Butcher. <laughs> oh, that man was a hoot. Um, in the end of the play, he's supposed to tell that he's going to Chicago, that his wife, Pruma Sarah, may she rest in peace, has a brother there. He hates him but a relative is a relative. Well, in the last performance, Dr. Moore said, I'm going to Trenton. That's in Tennessee. Tevye almost lost it. So I'll tell some more things about the show. I'm trying to look for uh, pictures and newspaper articles that I had from the time and share those with you as well. As you can tell, I have fond memories of that show. Talk to you later. Bye.